This video, we're going to be breaking down the bunch wide nasty formation. This is in the, I believe it is the Atlanta offensive playbook. And we'll be giving you kind of some combos that I like out of this formation. The main play that we're going to be taking a look at is this play cheat will post. It's got a short post. It's got a cheat motion. And then it, you can kind of do combos around that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be pretty much coming out in this cheat will post play and then we can have other combos uh, other plays in our audibles such as branch return the other one the only other one that i really think's kind of significant that i'd probably set here is this um i'd have the inside zone in here and then really i mean you can just leave it kind of as is and we're just going to come out and cheat will post now, what makes this play really effective is really two things. The first thing is this cheat motion on the running back wheel. So the reason cheat motions are really effective this year is because if I was to play like a cover two coverage, this cheat wheel is going to just destroy cover two every single time. They basically cannot run cover two on your field, and you will just consistently be able to manipulate it every single time. So you'll see here, if I was to, to go into cover four, then this outside quarter will play this a little bit better than a, than a, than a um, half or a cloud will. So you're going to force your opponent into running kind of cover three or cover two if they or cover cover three or cover four if they want to run zone. But if they play if they play cover two coverage, they're just going to be cooked. So then what you want to do is you want to run other combos around this play that are effective against against cover two now that or against cover three cover four now also against man coverage this cheat motion um can sometimes actually just like run by the man coverage defender as you see like cover one is going to struggle to guard this play as you see he just kind of gets over the top of the man coverage and then you're able to manipulate it like that so what i like to do with this play is we can also do a combo basically like this and maybe stem this in round up just a tick and kind of have like this combo right here. So if they do run like kind of that cover three, cover four coverage, then we can basically create a high low read in the middle of the field for us. So another thing that I like to do is this little speed out, this kind of a unique thing out of bunch wide that you don't see a lot is the this outside bunch receiver, you can put him on that speed out. We know how good that is this year. And then you see here that this is just gonna kinda kind of get into a weird spot on zones. Now I'll show you, also show you kind of a better better placement for this. So one other combo that I like out of this play would basically be to utilize like kind of a combo like this. So now we're kind of stretching the, the cover four a little bit harder, a little bit a little bit more effectively. But essentially just these kind of kind of combos like this. I mean this is this is what I think is really good because you have the high low over the middle of the field, but you also have a high low on the sideline. So you're going to force them to have to defend that corner route, which is super hard to guard out of this formation. And the reason the corner route is hard to guard is because you are, you know, maybe doing like this, actually, you know, something like this. But what you'll see is that this, this streak does clear out. And then this corner route can be thrown on the sideline for a possession catch on the sideline. Now, if they're playing cover four, obviously that's going to do a little bit better than a cover three. But if they're playing cover three here, let's see if we can get this for you. Use that fade. Whoops. And also we can always just throw this throw this little drag underneath as a check down. Let me show you something with a cover three here real quick. Let me see here. We're looking for that corner route to the tight end. And you see that that third gets pulled a little bit more than a quarter would in that example okay so that's why i like this play um it's just really good at stressing the sideline on both sides and then also the middle of the field a little bit so you see here kind of if they back up you can just throw this underneath and most defenses in this game just kind of the way defense plays right now most defenses are going to be giving this up a lot the just a simple drag over the middle of the field and if they don't get if they don't give the drag up then you know you're going to be able just to throw the post but this little drag here is is really really effective which kind of leads me to my next my next deal um 
on this play. And again, we're going to center this around kind of this cheap motion uh, on this. So another thing that I like to do in terms of how I like to run this play is utilizing a drag, a curl, and a flat. And the reason I like the curl flat is just because if they are playing like a cover four hard flat type of defense, this is going to do a really good job. You'll see this curl just kind of sits in a soft spot, and it's very difficult to defend this. And so this is something I like to do. Um, again, just trying to stress that cover four. Another thing that we can do to kind of stress the cover four coverage in general is always go to the play verticals. Um, and what I like to do with, with the, this year's game is I think seam streaks are really important. So I like to actually re-seam streak this guy. And then we're going to table route the running back or put him on an out route. And essentially, you're going to have a high-low over the left side as well as this deep cross. And you see this deep cross is super good this year. It's it's one of the best routes in the game this year. You're able to just use it to be able to beat all kinds of different coverages. So this, this deep crosser from verticals uh, can actually beat man coverage really, really well. I think it's one of the best man being routes in the game. The other thing about this formation is if you streak this guy on the left side, let me actually take this safety out of the way to kind of explain this. But let's say I streak this guy on the left side, and they're playing, they're playing um, cover one. Let's say the middle middle thirds on the other side. What will happen a lot of times in this formation is they can't press you right. So when you streak this guy, a lot of times he just gets a free release. Now, here he did get kind of played, but just always look at that because that streak can get free release touchdowns for you. Um, so I just want you to be aware of that. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is this crosser. You'll see this crosser will just cook, cook man coverage as I get screamed at by practice mode sheds. Let me show you one more time. We'll try to not get screamed at here. But anyway, I just really like this crosser. I think this crosser is really good against man this year, as you see. So they're going to struggle to defend that in man coverage. Um, they're going to have to basically, you know, use for that. And then also, let's say they are playing like just basic defense. You still have this quick throw uh, to the right side, so you always want to kind of peek at that real quick. And then, let's say they shade down to defend that. Well, then if you look at this tight end route, it kind of gets in a unique spot on the field. Now. They're going to kind of – Sauce Gardner's KO is really the the best thing to try to defend this. You know, but you can throw this kind of right here, possession catch it like that. And then the, what that does is that's going to take their user out of the middle of the field. And then when their user vacates the middle of the field, now what you're going to be able to do is you could throw this kind of in this little pocket right here as well. And this crosser is really, really effective. So you're able to beat pretty much every zone uh, with this play, which kind of leads me to my next play that I wanted to cover, and that is branch return. So the reason branch return is really effective um, is there's a lot of ways to run the play. One of my favorite ways to run this play is actually to just streak the slot receiver, block the running back, and then just redrag the tight end. And the reason this is going to be effective is because now you have kind of this return route coming underneath and what happens is a lot of the zones will just drift away from it and that return route is also really effective against man to man so if they want to run man to man on you let me see if i can go back to branch return here watch this return route you're going to see he's going to go he's going to go inside position and you can just throw that right over the middle of the field and the other thing that you have here is one of my favorite ways uh, to to, to uh, attack man is these deeper in routes. And so you'll see that this in route just cooks over the middle of the field, really hard to guard that, and that's going to be open for you really consistent. Another combo that I like that's kind of a, uh, a freestyle combination, honestly, and something that you can use really out of anything is to block my running back, to have a corner route on the solo receiver and stem him all the way down, to streak my slot and to post my outside guy. So it's kind of like a, a high-low on the on the right side now. And 
you have this drag route, which is kind of my main route. I think that, that, that gives you a really good quick read. And then when they start to, let's say they start to start um, shading underneath, then the route you want to look for is, first of all, this corner, the stem corner is normally pretty open. Let me sort of show you that a little bit better here. And you don't have to step them all the way down. If you step them even just to like five yards, that's good. You see how you can kind of just throw that against cover four this year, and you, I mean, you can also just throw it against cover three. So remember, they don't, they can't play cover two on that side. They have to play cover two or cover three. But then if they do that, then you're able to hit this again and again and again. So it just it, it just puts them in a lot of a lot of trouble, a lot of uh, conflict, but. But anyway, this is kind of a cool little little route. And then the other thing that you have here is kind of your double post almost. And so like if they are playing cover three coverage, you should be able to manipulate cover three for a one play score. Let's see if we can actually throw this post. We'll just see kind of against kind of gets right in that little pocket against cover three. And again, we talked about, but they have to pretty much run cover three, which is which is kind of problematic for them. Another combo that I I think is kind of good um, is is cover a uh, cover four killer. So we go back to branch return. We have this in route on the left. We're gonna block the running back, streak the slot, post this outside guy, and we're gonna stem him up a little bit, and then we're gonna slant the tight end. See, see this is what it looks like. And what we're looking for here is this deep post against cover four. Let's see if we can hit this. You see how it kind of gets into a soft spot, gets over the top of the coverage, pretty well. So these are some of my favorite combos. Um, I really do love this play right here. I didn't show this against man uh, very well, but I really do love this cheap motion against man coverage because if you put this, if you put the speed out here and let's say you stem the speed out to about, you know, there it's, it's even better than a corner route. And you'll see he'll just, he'll just crisply beat man pass lay down outside catch the ball and then let's say like let's say it's more like a cover four by using the speed out and getting it to about that depth you know 10 to 15 yards the hard flat will never play it and then it cuts so sharp it's not cut so sharp that that outside quarter just they have to switch stick onto it and then let's say let's just assume let's just assume that they do switch stick onto it okay if they do switch to go to the speed out here, then what you're going to be able to have typically is this post kind of right in this pocket right here. That's going to be kind of challenging for them to defend. So these are just some of my favorite plays uh, as far as how I like to beat pretty much every coverage in the game. I do think that this simple corner route, uh, something like this right here, is really good out of this formation. It's almost like a bench concept. But you see that that's just hard to guard. So uh, another way that you can kind of get to the same exact look would be to use out of this. You have a play that looks like kind of this. So we're going to stem the speed out all the way down. So it's a super sharp cutting speed out. And then we're going to stem the corner to like down one tick. So it's like this. And it basically creates kind of like a bench concept. And so a lot of times you can throw this corner down and out to the right side. And then if they switch stick, let's say they switch stick onto the uh, corner route or they try to defend the right side really well, normally the post on the back end of this play is going to kind of be, be getting in a soft spot. Now that yellow played out of his mind, but which is also why I like to use drags to kind of manipulate yellow zones a little better. But in general, this is a, I think this is a really, really good play, branch return. But there's just a lot of versatile plays in this. And like I said, the, the beauty of this cheat motion is if they ever call cover two, um, you know, it's pretty much GG's. Like, it's going to be wide open. It's going to be a big hitter, too. It's not just going to be kind of open. It's going to be like a potential touchdown. So 
This is the Bunch Wide Nasty out of the Falcons playbook. If you guys want to check out more on this, I'm going to be dropping an ebook on this in our school community. If you're not a member of the school site yet, it's only 10 bucks. That's where you'll get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden 25 and College Football 25. The cool part about it is your membership gets everything. So just $10 and you'll get access to everything over there, all of our college stuff, all of our Madden stuff, and uh, any new stuff that we're dropping. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description below.